ladies and gentlemen hey hi how you doing welcome back to the channel thank you so much for stopping by of course with the season three reloaded update we saw a very large amount of weapon tuning we saw almost 50 different changes just in this update alone and a lot of things ended up changing specifically with the long range meta what you want to use uh over range on rebirth and caldera now since it's obviously the same health so today i wanted to break down the new long range meta weapons you want to be using here in warzone as we go through them all if you enjoy the video at any point let me know by dropping a like on it and if you're new to the channel or if you have not already subscribed every day i got you covered with all things going on in cod so feel free to hit that sub button and turn on those post notifications so first things first let's get the very obvious ones out of the way we got four different weapons that fit in the long range meta right now that conveniently all have the exact same class setup so i figured no need to go over all four of them and just repeat the same thing four times let's just break them all down at once here the vargo which obviously i have as the example on screen the xm4 the Farah, and the qbz now the best cold war rifles for long range and like i said the setup is the exact same on all of them so i'm going to show you guys it on the vargo but if you want to use the qbz instead just copy and paste these attachments over to the qbz and it'll work all the same that's the beauty of cold war weapons and also the drawback of cold war weapons because none of the setups are unique whatsoever but that's not to say they're not some of the best in the game like the vargo right now in my opinion probably the best out of them all but every single one that I just listed there, the XM4, the Fara, uh, the QBZ. They are all absolute beasts when it comes to this current long range meta. We're starting first though, obviously with Gru Suppressor, Task Force Barrel for the best range, velocity, and control. We're gonna end up going for the Spetsnaz Grip as well, better control on all of them. You'll love to see that. 60 round mags is pretty much necessary on both maps now, in my opinion, just because that increased health. If you're fighting at a disadvantage, one on two, one on three even, potentially one on four if you're just crazy aggressive, two on three, two on four, doesn't matter. You wanna make sure you have enough ammo to actually uh, stand a chance in that fight without having to stop and reload and get pushed by two or three guys you know uh, also going to round out this setup by running the three times optic on there as well this exact attachment setup put it over to the xm4 works the same put it over to the Farah, works the same and you guessed it put it over to the qbz works the same four different long range meta weapons in one nice quick and easy now next up a bit of a surprise we've got the whitley this ended up getting a new buff with season three reloaded and it now is actually a beast over long range this thing is pretty easy to control and now it's going to hit harder over a longer distance which you absolutely love to see so surprisingly the whitley is finally an actual usable competitive uh meta weapon in the case of the long range meta right now so first up here we're going to end up going for the mx silencer per usual keeping us off the radar gives us better control and a better range as well for the barrels here unlike some of the other vanguard lmgs it doesn't have one that you know gives you infinite damage range or anything like that so to me the best choice is going to be the mk9 better control better velocity going to be nice and ideal for long range obviously for the optic go with whatever you're the most comfortable with whether that is the g16 2.5 times the three to six times or any other optic you are familiar with and you know you're going to consistently land shots with for the stock here uh you got a couple of choices the em3 not a bad choice at all you do get that better initial firing recoil uh that that said these other ones obviously all movement based except for the r4 which is just better control better movement speed and better accuracy as well so i mean like this is a pretty solid build when it comes down to it i'm gonna end up going for that one under barrel pretty basic here gonna go for hand stop the magazine you definitely got some choices i feel like most players will probably lean towards the british 45 here better control uh better fire rate it's gonna be nice and easy to use with these mags on there and i like i said i think that's where most players will uh sort of flock to if you will that said going for something like the uh 30-06-120 is like a basic extended mag, not a bad choice. Or if you want the slower firing, heavy hitting 150, you can try these out as well. Like you definitely have options here. 30-06-45 is just a fast mag. I wouldn't really use that. But the other three options all work really well. Most players will probably land more shots though with the British 45. Obviously, we're going to go for lengthened here per usual. Also polymer per usual. Perk 1 is going to end up going for hard scope for the better control. And then perk 2 fully loaded nothing ever changes there and this setup like i said now easier to use than ever before and it's going to be very very strong over range now to the surprise of absolutely no one the stg of course is in the long range meta right now we all know as it stands this is the best gun in the entire game and honestly it's not particularly close with this and number two you know what i'm saying like this thing it just fries it's so easy to use it has great range a great ttk there are no cons with the STG right now. So first up, MX Silencer, as always, 760 barrel. I like the 2.5 times optic on here just because there is literally no recoil. If you like three to six, if you like a different optic, that always go for that. For the stock, we're going for precision for the better horizontal control and the better ADS. 
going to go for hand stop per usual. Granko 50 for the mag here. You're going to land more shots using this than any of these other options. It's just so easy to use that that realistic TTK is incredibly, incredibly good. Lengthened and polymer per usual. You already know the drill. Perk one going to end up going for nerves of steel that better recoil control while injured. Of course, if you're fighting, you're probably going to get hit unless you have great positioning. So that's always going to come into play. Then lastly, we got fully loaded to maximize that ammo. Same setup that we've been talking about, but let's be honest, it still is an absolute beast. We also get to talk about the PKM. This thing is a monster. It's a powerhouse. It hits like a truck. Very low recoil, very bad mobility, but for ranged fights, mobility is not super crucial, so we can get away with using this for medium to long range. And in those areas, it's going to decimate the opposition. This thing brings the power. It has a phenomenal TTK. There's not enough good things I can say about this, minus the mobility. That is the drawback here, for being honest, but it's an LMG. I mean, what can you expect, right? So first up, we're going for monolithic suppressor, obviously keeping us off the map. The extended barrel is the largest in this case, also the slowest, but it's going to give you the best range control and velocity on there. I like to VOK three times optic per usual. We got to go ahead and throw on the T-Pose reticle. Going to end up running the snatch grip on here as well. Better control and a better ADS out of an underbarrel is something you really never see. Then lastly, I go for the tack laser for the better ADS and aiming stability. Makes it a bit more aggressive. And honestly, this setup is very nostalgic. It was good day one of Warzone. It is good now. And the fact that I can say that makes me incredibly happy. And then lastly for today, we got another MW weapon, the Bruin. This thing still frying. Uh, before the whole season three reloaded update, it had one of the best ranged TTKs uh, just behind the AMAX actually. The AMAX obviously got nerfed into the ground. And now this thing, the Bruin, sort of took its place. I mean, over range, not many weapons are gonna be able to beat this out. Now, again, a little bit slower because it's an LMG, but we can sort of counteract that with some of the attachments here. Monolithic suppressor per usual, summit barrel, largest barrel again in this case. VOK three times optic. The commando foregrip probably for most players for that better control over range. And then lastly, the 60 round mags, which make it a lot more lightweight and a lot more agile, turning it into sort of an AR LMG hybrid, which makes it a lot more versatile than the PKM in my opinion, and uh, why I'd probably choose it over that, but both great choices. And the fact that we still have a few modern warfare weapons left in this current meta is always super nice to see but that being said those are the current long range meta weapons here in warzone that's gonna wrap things up for today hopefully you enjoyed the video if you did let me know by dropping a like on it, it really does help the channel grow and if you're new here or if you have not already subscribed every single day i got you covered with all things going on in cod so feel free to hit that sub button and turn on those post notifications but once again, thank you so much for tuning in. And until next time, take it easy. Have an awesome rest of your day. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.